it's Roger Leaning from Morgan's. I'm here with uh, Dr. Chris Burns, CEO of uh, Novonics, and Dr. Ag Buell, um, CEO of uh, Gra uh, Pure Graphite. Um, Chris, Ed, welcome to Australia, and in particular to Queensland and sunny Noosa. Um, if I can, just ask you to very quickly give me a quick overview of your backgrounds uh, and uh, what you do at both Pure Graphite and Novonics. Uh, so my background, my name is Ed Buell, and my background is a PhD in physics from Dalhousie University where I worked on graphite nanomaterials for lithium ion batteries. And um, I've been the CEO, a CTO of a battery company and a supercapacitor company, and currently I'm the CEO of uh, Pure Graphite. Thanks. So my name is Chris Burns. I also did my PhD in physics at Dalhousie University. My focus was always on electrolyte additives for extending the lifetime of lithium ion batteries and then founded the company Novonics to develop battery test equipment to enable researchers to build these long life batteries for the industry. Thanks gentlemen. Um, now obviously batteries is very topical and not uh, less so here at uh, the Noosa Mining Conference. Um, just interested in your views on uh, how you see the world of batteries in the next five ten, to ten years. Well, I've been in the battery industry for about 23 years now, and I think we've finally gotten to the point where uh, we've reached the tipping point where we think that the uh, you know, global battery production is going to dramatically increase, mainly driven by the uh, demand by electric vehicles. So with the Tesla Model 3, we've finally gotten to the point where uh, the average person can afford a great electric vehicle. Uh, doesn't cost $100,000, but you know, costs similar to what a, a, a normal entry-level luxury vehicle costs, and we think that's really going to drive the production of batteries to uh, you know record levels. Yeah, I agree. You already see batteries, lithium-ion cells, in everything we use today. Probably this microphone that I'm holding, but. As Ed was talking about, the real explosion is going to come from electric vehicles and battery production for great energy storage, the new announcement in South Australia for the huge battery facility. And what we need to do is drive that cost down the last bit to make the gap between where the uh, market can produce batteries and products to where the consumers can break even on their internal combustion engines and then you know, the battery market will completely dominate. So going forward, what do you see as uh, one of the most critical items or uh, most important issues that uh, the battery market will need to deal with? So the, I think the two most important things that the battery industry really needs to focus on is, is cost and the life of the battery. So if you, if you buy an um, uh, electric vehicle today, uh, it has a very expensive battery in it, you know, somewhere between fifteen and $20,000. And that battery really needs to last the life of the car because if it lasts six or seven years and you need to replace it, um, you know, it's too expensive to put a new $20,000 battery into a vehicle. So cost, so performance and life is very important. And the other thing is cost, right? If we can bring down that price of the battery so that it's cheaper, then more people can afford electric vehicles and we can, um, and you know, these vehicles will become less cost and we'll see a lot more people driving electric vehicles in the future. Yeah, one thing I think worth adding to that is to discuss safety. So as the battery market, you know, increases volumes by something like an order of magnitude, making sure that batteries that are coming off those lines going to consumer vehicles are remaining extremely safe. And today, high quality cells made by reputable manufacturers in these products are extremely safe, but that's critical as well to ensuring the adoption of electric vehicles and other battery based components. Thank you very much, Ed and Chris. Enjoy the rest of your stay in Australia and Queensland.